morning everyone from another vlog. Today I wanted to film my updated makeup routine. As it is July right now, I tend to apply more blush all over my face to have that sunkiest makeup. I also seen some videos calling it island girl makeup, so it's gonna be between those. And as usual, obviously I'm gonna put all the makeup products I'll be using today down below and in the video so you can actually purchase them if you want. So hopefully this makeup video will give you that inspiration to do your makeup the same or similar if you're interested or if you like this look. This Sankis makeup look I'll be wearing today is lately my favorite. I almost wear it every single day. So for you guys too, I think it's worth trying at least once. And let's continue with the video. Okay, so first things first, foundation. As I mentioned in the last video, I'm someone who tends to sweat a lot in the summer, so one thing I'm gonna say is don't wear foundation a lot if you wanna wear one. That's just my advice because I don't like that thick and itchy feeling on my skin when I go out in the summers before I start to sweat. So what I have here is my makeup spatula. So I don't apply my foundation with a brush because I cannot manage it. I cannot manage the thickness so it's always end up looking kind of thick and crusty. So that's why I prefer using a foundation spatula. So before we start, let me apply my sunscreen. This is Purito's Daily Soft Touch Sunscreen. As I mentioned this in the previous video several times, this is currently my favorite sunscreen. This is really good guys and again, I feel like people are sleeping on this brand. So I'm not gonna wear a primer because SPF, when you wear SPF, does the same work personally, I think. So let me just put on my SPF really quickly and then continue with the makeup routine. skin tint here <laughs> I actually um, fun fact I don't own a foundation at all but I always use these mini tester ones whenever I because you know whenever you go to Sephora and purchase things they give you these for free these mini trial stuff so I always use those I have Dior two packages of Dior with me another package of Shiseido with me and then another brand so as for foundation because before doing the commitments and buying the big bottle and actually spending that much money on a foundation i want to see which foundation would fit my skin skin texture skin tone or if it's like a glowy or a matte finish so i want to see and try all those ones before so i think these packages are great for that i like shiseido i didn't like yours foundation that much personally so shiseido skin tint is my favorite so far and I think I'm gonna wait until fall to buy the foundation because as I said I don't wear it in the summer that much anyway so until then I'm just gonna go to Sephora and then continue buying stuff just to get these packages of foundation for free and try them okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm opening the package and then I'm putting on my hand this is honestly kind of um, darker for me this is the shade 310 Silk. Yeah, I think this is kind of dark, but it will do because the other package also is in this shade. It looks like this, kind of messy, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna apply a little amount anyway. And then what I do is I'm getting it on my spatula and apply it like this. This really gives you that thin coverage guys so i think makeup spatulas are a must look at this it looks like it's not even there and then wet your sponge with a setting spray and blend it in and here i have charlotte tilbury's airbrush flawless setting spray Honestly, as someone who used max setting spray for about three bottles, I think it's about three bottles, I think this is my favorite. This is better than the max. Then I'm gonna get my eyeshadow palette because the mirror is bigger. 
and simply blend it out. finish is flawless look at this glow i definitely prefer a glowy finish rather than a matte finish and i actually heard great things about shiseido skin tint so i'm actually considering buying either that one or armini's foundation or maybe i'll buy both <laughs> i haven't decided yet but honestly this is so beautiful And then here I have Tarte Shape Tape Creamy Concealer in the shade 22N Light Neutral. Since I'm wearing a foundation already, I'm not gonna cover a lot of part of my face and just simply focus on the areas I wanna lighten, the darker areas such as under my eyes or under my mouth or next to my nose and apply only a little amount, like a single dot. Then again, you do the same step with the setting spray. I know that people are also using makeup brushes, but honestly, I definitely prefer a sponge. It is easier to use, easier to blend out, and also because makeup sponges kind of absorb some part of the makeup, I think it is better because I don't like wearing a lot of makeup. So I personally prefer it when they absorb the makeup. forgot to set my brows so let me just do that real quickly here i have benefits 24 hour brow setter and if you're a beginner or just someone who wants to buy a new brow setter this is the only product you'll ever need i don't fill in my brows because i personally think they're already thick when i set my brows they look thick so i don't want that but just to give them a shape this is amazing guys like look at this I mean, honestly, this is like the best product ever. I definitely recommend to you. Okay, so here I have my favorite blush ever. This is from Fenty Beauty in the shade Summertime Wine number 8. Let me show you the color. Okay, sorry for the mess because I use it every single day. It is really... It looks really messy right now. But just like look at this shade. Since I'm going with the Sunkist makeup effect, makeup look, this is the best blush ever for that. It is perfect. I'm gonna take it a little bit because this is really pigmented but so easy to blend out. Look at this! Blush blindness is real and I don't even care. I think it looks really cute. And one more thing, since I'm going with that sunkissed makeup, it is finally time to put your blush on your as your eyeshadow as well on your eyelids. So this is what I'm gonna do. I really think this looks amazing. I was actually thinking of skipping powder because I want to have that glowy finish but I do have an oily skin so I don't think it's a good idea so here I have NYX's finishing powder and I'm just gonna put it on my t-zone real quickly So 
the next step is highlighter and here I have Benefit's highlighter in the shade Cookie. But since this is really pigmented, I'm gonna put a little bit. Honestly, this is my favorite highlighter, but again, it is so pigmented, guys. And this is definitely enough. Let me draw a real quick winged eyeliner with this Rare Beauty's Perfect Strokes Matte Look It Liner. lipstick. Here I have Tarte's Juicy Lip Balm in the shade Raspberry and we are almost done. This is honestly my favorite guys. I have another lip balm in a different shade and then I have the concealer which is Tarte's iconic products. But honestly, I think this is the best Tarte product I've ever had. This is my favorite lip balm ever. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a really quick get ready with me video, which I wanted to show you guys my new makeup that I'm obsessed lately. And if you guys enjoyed this, I can actually continue the series and do my updated skincare or updated makeup videos more often. So if you like this look, please let me know down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!